short video i'm going to show you how we can actually use uh, text recognition in the image uh, inside power automate and flow so we are going to see that how we can do that so uh, i'm logging into my uh, actually the environment that i have ai builder next i'm going to the ai builder uh, same as the before one i'm going to build and uh, you will see that we have a new one that i'm um, already showed them into the uh, actually inside the power apps before now we are going to see that how we can use it in power automate so i'm going to click on the text recognition it still is in preview and you will see the best practice situation so image with one column of the text just pay attention to the hints that you have here next i'm going to use it in a flow so it's open microsoft power automates and a new flow for me inside there uh, there is a some format that you can use or you can go to the uh, actually i use the solution for that so i'm going to the ai builder and uh, i'm going to add a new flow over here so you can easily create that one there's a possibility not to create in the solution there is another way to create that i will show in the next video so here i'm going to same as the previous demos that i have i'm going to use microsoft onedrive for business i'm going to when a file created so i'm going to put an image there uh, just make sure you log in so this is my login and uh, just choose the folder that you want so it can be root for me i'm going to choose the ai folder one in the next step same as the previous ai builder that we have in power automate i'm going to use the predict that's part of the common data service and uh, here uh, is asking me about the model so there are some models that we have there are some models that we created there are some models that are already there so text recognition model is a model that already there so i do not need to actually uh, create anything so it's just a model here i pass the file content from the onedrive and in the next step i'm going to put the data back to the azure blob storage so that's the one i want to create a blob storage uh, you see that's a premium one you should provide the link to that so make sure you connect you know the everything that you have so i use the power automate one and for the blob content plant name i'm going to same as the before i'm going to create a name using the concat that's a simple to create a string uh, i said utc now and in the next step i'm going to set txt so i want to create a file with the name of the current date and the type of the text file and in the for the actually for the uh, blob content same as the other one i'm again using i can there are different approach but i show you just a simple one that i actually use to create this model uh, you can actually use some json things to extract the information but i just want to put every result into the uh, actually into the blob store so i choose the prediction output so that's this and i just put a name for that ocr video i have an ocr one so i change it as an ocr video and you are going to see that how it actually work so this is my ai folder i'm going to import the image that i have from the lmp that's a, a favorite drinks uh, for my drinks in actually new zealand and if you're here so this is the one now i'm going to actually to test it so i said i want to trigger them myself so it's going to trigger and we are going to see that how it's actually work so it's done as you can see here we have the result of the input you will see we have output we have prediction output that's actually this is the one that i asked to put into my actually blob storage and if you're going down that's a create a blob storage i'm going to check my blog storage to see that if i can see uh, the file over there or not so you will see that actually this is the file that i have and you can see that actually it has the text and other information there there is a possibility to uh, make it clean and provide a kind of more clean result but this is 
really easy with a JSON file. So there's a JSON parser that you can use that one to instead of actually uh, see the whole file. So this is the another way of the using the OCR inside uh, actually Power Automate and you can extract the information from there. Uh, 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 definitely you can combine this feature with the other that we have and um, yeah that's so easy i'm not a, uh, actually a flow expert but actually i use it flow and i know ai so it's kind of combination is really fascinating thanks so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed